Hey guys, Doug B here. Welcome to Preset of the Week, where I highlight either one of the factory presets or presets created by third-party creators. This week we're going to do something a little different. Rather than checking out a preset, we're going to look at how to audition and save individual presets. There seems to be some confusion out there about how to do this, and actually it's a pretty simple process. But why would you want to do this? Well, okay, here's one example. Say you've got like space for 30 or 40 presets left on your Axe FX3, right? And then Fractal comes out and puts out an updated bank. And usually that's bank A. So you want to try out some of those presets, but you don't want to put the whole bank A on your system overwriting your old bank A. You just want to try a couple of the presets, see how they are. Well, by auditioning individual presets, you can do exactly that. You can audition some, save them in your empty preset spots, and then you can compare the old ones to the new ones and see if you want to update to the new presets. That's just one example. So let's switch over to Axe Edit. Now, if you just want to audition presets, you can start on any preset in your library. But if you think you might want to save one, go to the preset in your library that you might want to overwrite. Next, click on the Presets Picker, which is to the left of the current preset name. Now, go down here to the right-hand corner and click on Manage. Click OK. Now, click on Browser. Next, click Open Directory. Click on Choose Folder. Then it says Choose a Directory. Axe it will automatically scan it for presets. So you don't click on a preset file, just the directory that the file is in. Mine is in Desktop. So next, you click Open. It scans, and it found 384 presets. Click on OK. Now you see over here on the left, these are all the presets that you can audition that are not over here on the right. This is your preset files. Okay, so let's just say you want to try one of the new presets that came out in the Presets 19.04 download. You would click on Auto Edition, and then double click on whichever preset you wanted to edition. Now, you can see that Adrenal Flange has been loaded into this slot. The Axe FX3's front panel shows the new preset you double clicked, and so does the FC controller. But it's just in a temporary location. If you turned off your Axe FX3 and turned it back on, it would revert back to the old preset that was in that location. Same thing if you change to a different preset, if you come back, it would be the old preset that was in that location. Nothing has been saved there. Now, assuming that you haven't turned off your Axe FX3 or that you haven't changed to another preset, you can now addition the preset and try out all of the associated scenes. If you wanted to save the new preset, you'd close the preset manager and hit the save button right here. The old preset will be overwritten. If you don't want to save the new preset, close the preset manager and choose a different preset. The old preset will not get overwritten. Repeat this process to addition other presets as many times as you want. They're still listed in the browser window of the preset manager if you went back to it. So there you have it, guys. Auditioning presets, it's a fairly simple process. You do need to use Axe Edit, though. Give it a try. Let me know how it goes for you. Tell me what you think. Now, this Friday, we're going to talk about firmware 19.05, including the infamous scene ignore function that's been added. Now, you don't want to miss that, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right, guys, see you on Friday.